actually what's interesting is the design professionals really respond very well to the, the things that we're, we're making Afghanistan because they, they have a trained eye and they can immediately see that it's not generic. You know, both Christopher, far my business partner, and myself, we started as antique rug dealers, so that's, that, 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 that's our background, is antique rugs. Uh, we're not, we don't come from, although Chris is an artist, we don't come from the desi design world, so we're not people who've like done some furniture, let's do some rugs, we're, we're rug people. So um, whenever we're making new carpets, we're always referring back to old stuff that we used to handle when we started, you know, 30 plus years ago. Um, we started doing new things in 92 uh, and then stopped uh, trading in antique carpets. Um, uh, but we still love them. And uh, so, that, you know, that, that's why I like handmade carpets because that was my introduction to it and Chris's introduction to it was antique carpets. There was no such thing as a, there is no such thing as a machine made antique carpet. So when we were buying and selling antique carpets, we would you know, in the antique carpet world, carpets made in what is now modern Afghanistan, but, but by those by Turkmen tribes who roamed around Central Asia and into what's now called Afghanistan, they still exist there. So various tribes like the Sal, Turkmen tribes, and um, they're, they're very famous weavers. So it's always been, if you're a carpet person, it's kind of, it's a bit like, you know, Barcelona or Manchester United, it has that kind of level of, you know, you know what it means something to a carpet person. So it was that we were always attracted to work in Afghanistan. It was never really possible. You know, uh, when I met Turquoise Mountain, it seemed like a great opportunity. So in terms of working with, you know, weavers of handmade carpets, you know, the main challenge, not just for me, but for everyone in our industry, is to um, elevate the status of carpet weavers so that there's a future for this industry. Machines get better and better at making carpets, and they're getting very good at it. Uh, unless we can give people some pride and some uh, future, and, 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 and put the status of carpet weaving back to where it was, because it, it was, um, you know, three or four hundred years ago, it was the, the, the sort of domain of royal families and princes, and, um, and uh, I think that's that's the main challenge: is making environment in the future where this, these crafts will continue to be done. Tomorrow, you know, someone said, oh, you know, there are no more handmade carpets, you know, machine carpets, and I think I was probably 